EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams for what should be a terrific matchup here tonight. From TD Garden in Boston, tonight, the Boston Celtics getting set to match up with the New York Knicks. The opening tip won by the Celtics and we're underway in the garden. Holiday to Porzingis. Oh, had him going there for a second. Shot from in close, no good. That's how you do it. You stay in his pocket and you never give him any space at all. You make him smell you every single possession. Here comes the screen. Nothing going here on that drive. It's rebounded by the Celtics. To Jalen Brown. Jay for once, Trader Danny was Danny Ames. Celtics didn't do that much, but Eastern Conference didn't see much change either. Yeah, they didn't need to do anything if you're the Boston Celtics. You already have all the pieces to the puzzle. There's no doubt about it. The Celtics are now in the driver's seat. And a throwdown. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Flushes down the slam. You never want to leave anything to chance when you attack the rim. You finish strong every time you head home. To Julius Randle. Brunson. To Julius Randle. Able to convert inside. Old school equals high percentage. Holiday controls the basketball. Down two. Now ready for a couple of free throws. Trust me, you want to avoid early foul trouble. Take that one as a warning. Nope, first one does not go. Knocks down the second after missing the first. The possession lies with New York. Brunson and a pass stolen by Boston. To Jalen Brown. Porzingis to Jalen Brown. Porzingis with the slam. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. Brunson turns and slams it down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> to Holiday. Pass to the rim. To Julius Randle. Offensive board. Chris stops. Oh, he just blocked that shot out of bounds. Okay, they're lucky they get the ball back. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. They've slowed down the pace. Now three on the shot clock from long range. That reach was just about a second off. He got his hand in there a little bit quicker. That would have been a steal. Just enough imbalance. First one, count it. Up, 
That's the second. One more coming. And he hits all three free throws. Line drive. A lot of contact on that play. He plays through it and scores. The pro game has really come down to PNRs. Let's see how the defense adjusts. Jay, the Knicks searched long and hard for their next head coach. They chose David Fisdale. Why was this the right choice? Well, first off, he's a two-time NBA champion as assistant coach with D. Wade and LeBron James from Miami Heat. And I got some time to spend with him down in Miami at D. Wade's fantasy camp. He is hard and very stern, but it comes from a brotherly place. His ability to build the right culture in New York will be imperative, but it all starts with that kind of teaching. Add two points to the board. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. New York in control of the basketball. Take stock of the floor. And count the basket. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. To Fournier. It's Boston with the rebound. He throws it down. Some players are so cerebral. I'm not even paying attention to the dunk as much as I'm paying attention to the player pointing and communicating to everybody his team needs a guard on the next play down the court. Here comes the screen. Deep three at the buzzer. Whistled for the foul. Chance coming up at the free throw line. Ed, the reality is that good jump shooters know how to get those calls. Overall, though, there's less flopping in the game, which is great. But there's something uncanny about certain players' abilities to get those calls on a regular basis. Knocks down the second free throw. to beat the buzzer first quarter in the books and this one's all tied up Lucky 13's on both sides. 13 all as we start the second quarter. DiVincenzo to Julius Randle. To Josh Hart. Shot clock winding down. Let's it fly from long range. Shot off the mark. Good defense to Jalen Brown. Let's see what the Knicks can do here. To Josh Hart. They go down low to Randall. Short jumper misses. A couple of cracks at the line now. And as a defender, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot foul in the act of upward motion into your shot. Your timing needs to be better. First try at the line, no good.
knocks down the second after missing the first. So Horford. There it is, Al Horford. He's finally on the board, makes his first shot. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Yes, and a foul. Hell of a chance at a three-point play. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Swiftness, he dumped that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. Knicks with the basketball. Brunson. Runner here, won't go down. To Horford. There it is, Al Horford. Three for three in this first half. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Hart to Brunson. He was hacked. They let it go. Brown into the front court. Up by three. To Horford. Time, right player. Can't teach height. Ah, can't miss those. Doesn't have the touch. No good. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the rest to blow the whistle. Brown with it up top. Leads three. Counted at the rim. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. To Julius Randle. Hart. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. Play is stopped. Timeout Boston as he'll discuss matters in what's now a three-point game. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Number 10. Stepping in for the New York Knicks. Number zero. To Horford. Draws the foul. And Porzingis will go to the line to shoot two. Love the fact that the shooter created contact on the upward motion to shoot the basketball. Big time play. Chris stops Porzingis. A couple of free throws on the way. For his career, 80% at the line. First free throw is good. And gets both to drop at the line. To Julius Randle. Good. No doubt about where that one was headed. Celtics have it. To Horford. Off the assist. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. 
Finishing inside the paint on that one. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. To Porzingis. Kicks it around the perimeter. Beyond the arc for three. Can't get the bounce. DiVincenzo. And the basket good at the rim. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. Count the two for KP at the rim. Time expires to end the first half with the Celtics in front. Contact and free throws coming. I'm watching the coach's reaction right now, and I'll tell you, he's not going to be happy about that. The game comes down to the micro details. That wasn't a part of the plan right there. And hits the first free throw. Two on that trip. Ball's controlled by Boston. Holiday to Jalen Brown. Screen coming. Surveys the floor. And he'll go to the foul line. This drives me nuts when I see fouls like that being called in a close game. Sometimes you just gotta let them play, ref. Connects on the first free throw. Goes two for two. Brunson to Julius Randle. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. That was such a great job by the offensive player, knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. him a two-point lead. Celtics have it. To Jalen Brown. Sizing up the defense. Trying to cash in. Missed it. He always has the green light, but the defense was ready. I love when I see a good contest. You're crowding the player's landing space, which naturally makes him worrisome about turning the ankle on that landing. New York with four to shoot. For three, that won't go. Holiday in possession. His guys find themselves trailing by a bucket. To Porzingis. Oh, he had him there for a second. Porzingis. Julius 
Randall with a piece. Fires the three. Tough shot there for Jalen Brown. No good. To Julius Randall. To Brunson. Nothing going here on that drive. 4-3. Buries it. Even though the coach initially may not like that shot, now he's clapping because that ball went in. Boston with the basketball. Hands up, hands up. Hands to Jalen Brown. Nothing going here on that drive. To Jalen Brown. Has a look. And a putback slam. Woo, that's nasty right there. Able to convert inside. And the true test of a team's character is how they respond when they get hit in the mouth. Keep digging. Drew Holiday. Better late than never. That was his first shot, and it goes down. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot he wanted. Possession lies with New York. Chris stops Porzingis. Ah, tips it. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. To Jalen Brown. Oh, ferocious slam inside. It just seems like nobody can stop him but him. Once he's found his offensive swag, that boy's deadly. Coach of the Knicks signals for a timeout as they'll talk things over in a one-point basketball game. things up hockey line substitutions both teams making changes for the Boston Celtics number two has a chance unbothered by the defense as he drills it there you go I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources Celtics have it holiday to Jalen Brown Going to launch beyond the arc. Brown with the three with a hand in his face. Look, that shot was going up regardless of what the defender was trying to do. That's called a heat check. To Julius Randle. Off the assist. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Brown into the front court. His group now down two. Screen coming. Evan Fournier pins it. Just incredible timing on that swap. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Here comes the screen. Got a piece to knock it away. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Ball's controlled by Boston. Knicks come away with it. Jalen Brown able to recover with the block. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. And that's the end of the third quarter. We have a tie ball game.
It's the Celtics with the ball as we start this fourth quarter. And this game's been everything we could have hoped for. All tied up after three. This is what happens when you have winners on both sides. People who are not willing to give up and will continue to scrape and claw to get themselves in a position to win this ballgame. DiVincenzo. Drew Holiday. Not a busy night, but effective. Two for two. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. To Julius Randle. DiVincenzo. And draws the foul. The game is too tight for you to be taking risks like that. You want to avoid foul trouble at all costs. First one goes down. them both. To Horford. Stuffs it down with authority. This is why I go back into player mode. If the dude starts to try to have 40 points on me, I'm going to foul out. I'm going to start hitting him in places he's not used to being hit. I'm trying to do anything to throw him off his game. To Josh Hart. Knicks with four to shoot. Off the mark. Well contested. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots. But the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win a defensive battle. To Julius Randle. Hart. Big finish that time for Julius Randle. An easy two. Get back on defense. To Horford. Holiday. Boston with four to shoot. Tatum. Off the iron. No good. DiVincenzo. Nothing going here on that drive. Short jumper won't go down. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. Tough shot and nearly a chance at a three-point play. No foul. The defender needs to do a better job of forcing a pickup there. Now the coach of the Knicks going to signal for a timeout. That's their first of the final three minutes. That leaves them with one remaining. I think everyone in this building knows it's going to come down to the last two minutes. This game is going to be won with who decides to really show up on the defensive end of the ball. Hart picked up by Derek White. With four to shoot, trying to cash in, knocks it down off the step back. That might have been a little bit easier than expected there, considering the score. To Porzingis. Short jumper off the mark. New York Knicks basketball, Randall. To Josh Hart. Probing the defense to Josh Hart. Knicks with four to shoot. Here comes the screen. Fires the three. He was all over him. Porzingis to Horford. Nice pass to set things up. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball one-on-one. -on -one. 
Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. To Julius Randle. a wide open look. Yo, big kudos to the defender. It seems like his mere presence in the paint was enough to make the offensive player miss the shot before he even got off the ground. Now a whistle, and we'll get a timeout for the Knicks. That's their second of the final three minutes. No more timeouts left for the rest of the game. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. to Julius Randle. Brunson to Julius Randle. A oh, pass taken away by the Celtics. There's the whistle and an intentional foul. Just their first in the final two minutes, so no free throws yet. They'll take the ball out of bounds. Too close to call right now. We're in clock management mode. That was a good play. The possession lies with New York. Brunson And here's the foul. Right now, it's a two-possession game. So if he hits one or two of these, it could be all she wrote. In the 80s, that might have been a personal. But regardless, it had the same impact. You just injected a little life into your squad just when they needed it. Goes two for two at the line. the buzzer but it's not going to be enough this game is all over it's a victory here for the celtics as they take care of business at home